My name is Cody Minahan from the OITA department, and in this video, you will learn how to run a student activity report in Classwise. There are two ways to do this. One is using the screenshot history function, and the other is the student journey function. Depending on what type of information you need and what format you want to see it in, this will determine which report is best for you. The screenshot history tool should be used when a teacher wants to take a detailed look of what was on a student's screen at a specific moment in time. This tool also allows teachers to download a zip file of the screenshots of that student's activity. This tool only tracks the last two weeks of student data, so educators looking for a comprehensive browsing history would might want to use Student Journey instead. To use screenshot history, teachers will select the class that has the student and then click on reports on the top right hand corner. This is how you access the two different reporting tools, but for this example, we're going to click on screenshot history. We will cover student journey later on in the video. In order to run a screenshot history report, you will select the option from reports and input the necessary data, which includes student name and range of dates. After you have filled those fields out, you press search. Once you run the screenshot history report, you should see the student's activities broken up by the date and time each activity was accessed. You can then press view on a certain activity to look at the student's screen. In this screen, you can download a zip file of student screenshots if you need documentation for off-task behavior or problematic viewing history. If you want a more comprehensive report on student browsing history outside of the last two weeks, you want to run a student journey report, which is going to be covered right now. Student journey reports are similar to screenshot history, but the range of dates can be much larger. But the drawback is that you do not get as many specific details as you would with the screenshot history report. Student journey reports are a great way to view student browsing habits over a large period of time, as well as documenting student browsing history outside of that two week cutoff for screenshot history. Teachers and administration may want to use this type of report in parent meetings or various avenues of student intervention. Now to create a student journey report, we will go into the class that has the student and click report in the top right hand corner, but this time we will click on student journey. To create this report successfully, I will select a student in the range of dates. There are preset options for dates, but it's important that a custom date range option is available as well. Let's select a custom range for a semester and put a name for this cover page of the report. Once I click export, I should receive an email with the PDF file. Once you click export, you should receive an email with a PDF file sent to your Springfield Public Schools email account. If you do not see it after a few moments, I would check your spam folder or try to press export again. This report will show the date and time of each student activity, whether that activity was allowed or blocked, what category that activity belongs to, and the web address or application the student used. This PDF can be downloaded to your computer for later use or can be sent to the appropriate people that need that specific browsing information. So that is how you use the student journey function in the screenshot history function in Classwise. Be sure to check out the other Classwise modules in the Schoology Asynchronous course. And if you encounter any serious issues using Classwise, you can always open up a ticket in OITA. Just make sure to select Classwise as the software in your ticket.